I have a concept called universal subsistence standards. And basically, it's meant to create exactly what I've said, a level of subsistence that is measured and gauged per country that, you know, according to that country's standards of living. Now, in the U.S., the standard of living is obviously different from being in India. Subsistence in the U.S. is different from subsistence in, in India. Now, the big problem with globalization right now, and the reason that we see G8 protesters, WTO protesters, and so forth, is not because these people are violent and out of control and they don't understand things. And globalization in itself is not bad. You know, if you think about economies of scale, Walmart, yeah, by having supply chains overseas and developing markets, the general public, we are enjoying lower prices for goods. Now, the problem to this globalization is that we also move our production centers to other countries. And what happens is that local people become unemployed. Unemployment is much more than a number. It's children. These are lives. And this is the reason that we see the G8 protesters, the WTO protesters, and so forth. We need to create a system of subsistence guaranteed to each individual of each nation to say, hey, look, Okay, your job may have left because this is the forces of economics. But what we're going to do is make sure you at least have the ability to keep your home, keep your family together, have food on your table. You know, just because your job left overseas doesn't mean that you, you suddenly became a bad person who doesn't want to work. Nobody's like that. Everybody has a, a push for productivity. So if we create these universal subsistence standards, what you'll see is there'll be less conflict amongst each other.